All right, the last thing we're going to look at is this. How to find all complex zeros given that you have uh, one imaginary. So since it's imaginary, I'm not going to use synthetic. I think that's a lot harder. But what I can do is if I know this is a zero, then I also know that that is also a zero. So what I'm first going to do is multiply that to get that rid of the, those i's. So I'm going to FOIL it to this two, two term, excuse me, I'm going to box method it. Because what I know, how, how I put that in parentheses, is I would say that'd be x, uh, you'd switch the signs. So I'm going to have, once I fill these in here, made this box a little long, but it'll work just fine. What I will have is I switch the sign, so I'd have x is minus 2 plus 5i, and I have x minus 2 minus 5i. And when I multiply these across, I'd get x squared minus 2x uh, plus 5ix minus 2x plus 4 minus 10i minus 5ix plus 10i. And then this becomes negative 25i squared. And by the way, anytime you have i squared, the sign's just going to switch, which is going to be equal to positive 25. The i should always cancel. So if they don't, you made a mistake. That leaves us with x squared. These two become minus 4x plus 4 plus 25 is plus 29. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simplify this equation to find these two real ones by dividing by this. So I'm going to use long division here. So I'd have a uh, long division going on. We have x to the fourth. Actually, I'm going to take it uh, a little bit over here so I have more room. x to the fourth minus 6x cubed plus 35 x squared minus 50x minus 58. And all that's going to be divided by what we just found here, that x squared minus 4x plus 29. I just want to divide by it. Okay, so first question you ask yourself, what do I need to multiply x squared by to get x to the fourth? Well, it's x squared. If I multiply x, everything by x squared, I get x squared minus 4x cubed plus 29x squared. Now remember, when you come behind, you always switch the signs. Long division. So that switches that switches, that becomes negative. Those are gone. That becomes negative 2x cubed. And this now becomes 6x squared. Pull down the next term. Minus 50x. And that is a plus. Okay, now I ask myself, what do I need to multiply by here? And it's going to be negative 2x. So now I have negative 2x cubed. That times negative 2 is positive 8x squared. And this times negative 2 is negative 58x. Again, you come behind and you always switch the signs. So when I do this here, that sign switches, that sign switches, that sign switches. So if that goes away, that becomes negative 2x squared. This becomes plus 8x. And then we take down our negative 58 one more time, and ask myself, what do I need to multiply by? And this time it's just negative 2. So I have negative 2x squared plus 8x plus 58. And these, this will add up to 0 if we've done our work right. It just has to because they're factors. That was given as a factor. So when we switch signs, everything should cancel out, which that does, that does, and Oh, that was negative 2. That should be a positive there. So yeah, those cancel. And so we're left with 0. So that is my real factor. So my two factors for doing all that are x squared minus 4x plus 29 and x squared minus 2x minus 2. Those are my two factors here, my two quadratic factors. These are the imaginary we know of. These are the imaginary. And these are the real. Okay.
So that's how this is written out. Now, if you wanted to know what these were, you could try to x factor it. But again, I don't think we're going to have factors of negative 2 that add up to negative 2. You just can't come up with any. So no rational factors there. And so you'd have to use quadratic, uh, the quadratic formula. So you'd say the negative v. So we'd have, let me write it out here, quadratic formula is negative v plus or minus square root v squared minus 4ac all over 2a. You would do that for this, these terms to get the value. So you'd say uh, negative of negative 2, which is 2, plus or minus square root v squared, which will be 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 2, all over 2 times 1. We want to simplify one more time. We have 4 minus, these, minus, these negatives are going to cancel out here. 4 times 1 is 4, times 2 is 8. So 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 8 is 12, all over 2. There, two, what, two square roots multiplied to be 12 would be square root of 4 and square root of 3. We know we can simplify the square root of 4 to become 2. So this is actually equal to 2 plus or minus, I'll write it out, square root of 4 times square root of 3 all over 2. Well, that's equal to 2. So one more time, uh, you would have, and I'm running out of room, so I'm going to write over here, 2 plus or minus 2 square root of 3. And so I can simplify. I'm going to divide each one by 2 rather than 1 fraction. Finally, my answer is going to be 1 plus or minus square root of 3, and you cancel those out. Those are my real zeros right here. That's a lot of work to get those. What I would recommend is just to type it in and do an analyze. But that's how you do that. You can try the next given here.